Welcome to the Step Point of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we will give an overview of the metabolic pathways and describing ATP yield in certain pathways. Glycolysis is the anaerobic catabolism of glucose to prepare it for aerobic catabolism. It starts with glucose and goes through these intermediates where it finally ends up as pyruvate. Pyruvate then becomes acetyl-CoA and combines with the end product of the TCA cycle oxaloacetate to create citrate, which cycles around. Galactose can enter glycolysis by becoming galactose 1-phosphate, then glucose 1-phosphate, then finally glucose 6-phosphate. Glycogen follows a similar pathway. Individual glucose molecules in glycogen become glucose 1-phosphate, which also enters as glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate can also go in the reverse direction and become glycogen by first becoming UDP glucose. The HMP shunt is useful in making nucleotides and NADPH. It also branches off from glucose 6-phosphate where it returns to the fructose 6-phosphate. Fructose tastes sweeter than glucose because it enters in glycolysis further downstream in the pathway. It is phosphorylated and split into two molecules which enter as dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate intermediates. Gluconeogenesis will make glucose when needed and is almost the reverse of glycolysis, however, it cannot be turned directly back into phosphoenyl pyruvate and must go through the intermediate oxaloacetate, which can then become phosphoenyl pyruvate. The urea cycle is important for removing ammonia from the body. It combines with CO2 and the end product ornithine, aspartate, losing a fumarate that enters the TCA cycle, and finally water to produce urea. Lipids are synthesized in the body from acetyl-CoA. Conversion into malonyl-CoA fatty acids are turned into triacylglycerides. In the catabolism, the glycerol backbone can be removed and enter into glycolysis at dihydroxyacetone phosphate to produce energy. Acetoacetyl-CoA is produced from forming lipids. This can be used for either ketogenesis or cholesterol synthesis. Finally, proteins can be catabolized by entering the TCA cycle at succinyl-CoA. The heart and liver use the malate aspartate shuttle to transport the impermeable NADH into the mitochondria. This produces 32 ATP per glucose molecule at the end of oxidative phosphorylation. In the muscle, the glycerol 3-phosphate shuttle is used instead and yields just 30 ATP per molecule of glucose. Focusing strictly on glycolysis, two net ATPs are produced per glucose. The toxin arsenic prevents any ATP from being produced during glycolysis. ATP is useful because it can be combined to make energetically unfavorable reactions proceed. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.